royalty. Hey, I'm Briz. Hey, I'm Princess. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day, and I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Leo. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel, Michael, Holy Spirit. Please come down and protect and guide me and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Leo? Leo, Aries could be in your energy or something just going to be feeling odd to you. Okay, something that you may do like routine. It could be feeling a little different. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, so yes, you have all the answers. Yes, it's time to open new doors. And yes, you have access to something. You got the key. But I'm seeing here, you could be feeling out of sync. I just said that. Something is making, there's something that you're going to be feeling out of sync with. Or you're going to be feeling like something is just not for you. Something is not aligned with you. Something doesn't fit you in your life or something that you do normally or something that is going to feel out of sync. Because even my prayer, I was like, what is going on here? And I say this all the time. Y'all know I love to pray. Like I saw, yeah, yo, Jesus, Father God, Holy Spirit is my best friend. Like, <laughs> real. Like, hold on. I don't know. It's something about being out of sync with something or you're not going to like. Something that you do normally is going to feel out of sync or out of whack, or you're going to be getting nudges from the divine in regards to something that is just not aligned with you to back away, to let it go, to, to re release yourself from it, to move away from it. Something's not going to be aligned with you. Yeah, it's time to cut something short because this is an uphill battle that you're going and you're fighting for a lost cause. Yeah, there's something here that you need to tell no or say no to. You could be really trying to stand your ground and really trying to get something done, but it's a lost cause. Yeah, you, it's time to walk before you run. It's time to have a fresh outlook on something. This could be something new to you that you are taking action on, okay, literally. But I definitely pick, on, pick up on something that you could have found to be routine or something that you could, like, be doing. It could be obstacles in it at this time or you could be feeling like, you know, it's, it's a little off or something that something's going to try to take you off of like smooth sailing or on the path that you are naturally on, okay? And it can have to do with someone that you are giving to or an energy that's around you that you need to like remove yourself from. It, it doesn't align with you. Yeah, it's time to spiral up. It's time to rise above something and it's time to come out of your shell. It's time to do something different. I thought this was an eye for a second. So you guys could wear like that evil eye. You know, I always got my evil eye on like I know. <laughs> y'all could wear evil eye y'all could like the jewelry or you know you could protect yourself because i don't know why i'm picking up on evil eye you guys could be healing your your eyes your third eye chakra okay it could protect you from some type of evil eye that was being sent your way somebody here could have also been trying to block your third eye from picking up on divine messages that ain't gonna happen that didn't work if this is a cross watcher watching it ain't gonna work leo too strong for that okay honey bunny <laughs> you have here yeah spiraling up you're spiraling up you're going you're on the up and up at this time someone here also views you as being very sweet okay or very nice you could also like those pastel colors i think that is so beautiful i love pastel someone here could draw or be an artist or you guys like pastel colors i love pastel colors oh my gosh like somebody here you guys to like dressing like a, that's a pretty wardrobe that's a nice wardrobe Someone here likes pastel colors. I don't know why I'm picking up on pastel or chrome type of things as well. But you're getting ready to get the real scoop of something. Something's getting ready to come out about in your favor, but it has to do with you letting something go that just does not align with you. It's something that's trying to put you out of whack. It's trying to stir up your energy, trying to shake up your energy. I'm seeing here. What else? What's going on? What's growing? Okay, I see you running away from a situation or there's someone that's running away because they got fake friends around them. You could be letting go of some type of fake friends. Be mindful of someone here that feels like they know you and they feel like they could do sex magic on you. Somebody here, they have sex with you or they sleep with you and they manifest. I don't know if y'all believe in that. Okay, usually like soulmate energies do that. Like when you are in a soulmate connection of a higher frequency, 
y'all could be intimate and y'all manifest together. It's the energy coming together. It's very strong. It's very potent. There is someone here, though, okay? You don't know that this person does this, and I'm seeing it because I'm seeing it. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, somebody who the way that somebody here they 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 yeah they're holding something they do something while you guys are like someone here could like do either they do something beforehand before you guys sleep together or this is why they are doing it they could be thinking things it's like someone pulls on your energy to manifest and it's not equal give and take is what I'm trying to say it ain't equal it's not like they're giving you your energy their energy to so that you could utilize and so that you can manifest as well or so that you could like feel energized somebody here you could be feeling very drained after you sleep with someone it's because they took your aura your essence they're trying to take your blessings from you through sex be mindful of this you need to run away from this individual you need to let this person go i'm seeing here yeah somebody here wants to get you pregnant okay you even could have gotten pregnant by this person somebody here is like well <laughs> the deed is done somebody here this is what they wanted somebody here wants to get you pregnant you could be unsure if you're pregnant at this time you need to take a test Okay, I see positive and I see negative here. I see pregnancy scare and I see unsure on this card. So somebody here is unsure. There could be a pregnancy scare that goes on. You may sleep with the individual. The sex could be really good. It's because this person is, they, they, they trying to use your energy for something that is not of, of the light, okay, at all. They're trying to manifest so that they can have a come up. Tell me about this tantric sex. Yeah, coming, af coming in after you came in in the reverse this is not someone that will come in after you at all this is not a knight in shining armor this is someone that keeps coming out in the reverse this even could have been someone that you had a love story with at one point in time you could have felt very deeply connected to this individual i'm seeing here be mindful of that this person is brainstorming this is someone that is extremely promiscuous they sleep around they get around they are free for all they have community ding along or community poom poom Okay, family time, wanted to come out in the reverse. You could have wanted to create a family with this person. You could have a family with this person. It could be some type of upheaval over children or over family or over stability with this individual at this time. Somebody here wants you to continue to crush on them, but they're very childish in regards to their feelings. Like somebody here could be a grown adult. They could have kids, but the way that they love or the way that they communicate is very childish or childlike with crush being here. Yeah, they also could have gotten with a copycat energy because this person is toxic. They're poisonous. Okay, somebody here could have also gotten with a copycat energy that is toxic or karmic or low vibrational because you didn't want to put up with a mess. Yeah, this person is sick now. Somebody, and this is not in the reverse. Somebody here has something. They could be mentally sick, physically ill. They could have caught an STD. They could be emotionally sick. They could have some type of entity on them. Okay, a spiritual attachment to something that is of the dark realm. Okay, by sleeping with someone that they shouldn't have slept with because they tried to get back with you. Yeah, somebody here is a, they're a hater. That's why. They also was talking junk about you, but people don't want to hear that. People it came out in the reverse. Whoever was talking junk about you, whoever they talking to don't want to hear that crap. They don't want to hear it. they like, all right, yeah, this person got anger issues too. Okay, somebody here set the record straight or you could have set the record straight with this person and it's like they hate nothing about you now. I'm seeing here this person could have cheated on you. Okay, they could have tried to push you to step out on the relationship. But somebody here, they got caught up by doing, they got caught up stepping out. I'm seeing here. They were attracting in low vibrational energies. This drama king or drama king. It gives me king of wands energy or queen of wands energy. I'm seeing here. Shoot, this even kind of gave me like the queen of cups, king of cups energy. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody here, because I'm picking up on the energy. Somebody here could have water in their chart or fire. It's like someone here also plays innocent, but they are not. Someone here plays innocent, but they are not innocent. They give off like that. They try to act like a sweetheart or loving or kind or caring, but they are they alpha blood. They do it so that you can feel safe with them or they, they do it so that you can, they got you hooked in a certain way. Be mindful of that. I'm telling you, this person gives me bad, bad vibes. Okay, this could even be like a, um, who got this card? Earth, earth energy. This could be a Taurus or a Virgo. I know I said fire. They could be extremely attractive. Okay, so the energy of this individual, somebody here could be extremely attractive. They could be very striking. They could have a very powerful energy or aura, just like you, Leo. But this person could be like a smooth talker, very sly, very slick, very so they 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 got the gift of gab. Somebody here could have earth and they try. They got the gift of gab. They can have Taurus or Virgo. They know how to talk somebody out their pants. They know how to talk in a way that will make it sound believable, but it's all bullshit. Somebody here works it down below. 
They can even be an artist I'm seeing here or a musician. They look really good, but they give up. They try to give up like a sweet, loving, innocent, naive type of energy. They want you to trust them like sweetheart energy. They want you to even view them as someone that is like reliable, loyal. That's why I'm picking up on like water and earth. But they're 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 attractive. Somebody here, you need to like really be mindful of this individual because they're very crafty. Their energy is extremely crafty. Somebody here wants to play you, or they feel manipulated and they feel played at this time. I'm seeing they're also on drugs. Somebody here's on deep drugs, deep deep alcohol. They could do pills. They could do like white powder. The game is over. You need to break up with this person, or something is done. It's no more games being played with this. No more games being played with this individual. It's life ain't a game. Somebody here takes things as a game. Life and time ain't no game. I don't know why people keep thinking that. Life and time is not promised. Every day is not promised, which is why it's called a present. Okay, literally, somebody here is all about the money. That's probably why they act that way, which is why they'll never have it. Let's see. What other energies? Yeah, there's a breakup that's getting ready to come in. And it could have to do with finances. Somebody here could be struggling and strapped for money. Or you could have found out that somebody was only with you for the money or the resources or what you did for them. This person got money problems, especially in regards to work. They only focus on material things or they see that you have a lot of material wealth or success. There's a breakup that's coming in. Either you're walking away or this person's walking away. But there's a separation. Something is over. Okay, yeah. This also is a, It's time for you to roll the dice. It's time for you to take a chance on you. Take a chance, take a risk, take a gamble. Somebody could even be trying to take a chance on you at this time. Okay, trust your intuition. Somebody here is extremely empathic or intuitive. You could be a reader. You could be psychic. You could be extremely intuitive, extremely empathic. You may pick up on things naturally. You could have gifts. You could even have your own deck. You could have purchased a deck, been gifted a deck. And it's like it connects to you. It speaks to you. It tells you what you need to do. That's your intuition speaking through you. Literally, that's your angels and your ancestors guiding you and giving you knowledge and insight. Don't stop if you are doing this or you're getting, like, can, you took a chance on something and it's working out in your favor. So for someone here, you took a chance and you started learning, like, you could have been called to learn tarot or to do something in regards to, like, becoming a light worker and it's working out in your favor. And there's someone that is, like, they could be against it or you could have even broken up with the individual because they were against your spiritual beliefs and talents. Do not trust that person because it's, it's all about healing. Father God is not going to lead you to no, to no type of nonsense. That's why I'd be like, I, I get it. There's some people that are like very dark readers. Whoever I'm talking to, whoever I'm channeling, if you watching my channel, we not dark workers, okay? Like I know there's dark and light. Yeah, we we work through, we, we heal our ego, you know? We heal, we heal our prideful side, but we are light workers. And it's not all love and light. I get it, all gumdrops, because you got people saying, well, that's not good enough. We heal all aspects of our soul. It's not just about the dark. It's not just about the light. It is a balance to it, okay? But for someone here, like, whoever's trying to stop you from trying to, like, learn or advance your knowledge or get closer to Father God, however Father God wants to talk to you, he's going he's gonna to put it in your face. How, you know, how to connect with him. It's, it's, he knows he created you. He knows what's for you and what's not for you. And I tell people that. Like, when I was at my lowest place of life, like, y'all really think I was, I didn't go to tarot. I used to watch, you know, sermons, you know, Christian sermons, for real. I was gifted my first tarot deck. I did not go out buying it. It was like it came to me. That's why I tell people, Father God will let you know if something is truly for you. You're not going to have to. It will come to you. I was gifted. It was brand new. I was gifted a brand new deck. There's something about you guys are doing something. I could be talking to someone who is a healer. Literally, and God is aligning you with your purpose. This is meant to bring in major transformation for you at this time. It's meant to be healing. You could be, you could be someone that needs, like, you could be thinking about getting a shop. This could be a holistic shop. I could be speaking to someone that does Reiki healing. You could do energy healing. You could be purchasing, you could make sound bowls, or you know how to make crystals or incense or body butters. Because before this, I used to make body butters. Y'all already know that though, right? If y'all have been rocking me for a while. I know I was doing body, but that was my first business before God put me into purpose. But that was, you're multifaceted. You don't just do one. You don't just have one talent on one gift. You know, you have multiple. It's something that you need to do. Okay. And it's healing to you. For someone here, this is someone that you were connected to that tried to downplay or that didn't want to put you or didn't want to, you know, Guys, someone here was trying to downplay you because you were getting into your purpose or your calling or your mission. And it has to do with healing, either healing yourself, healing others. It has to do with crystals. It has to do with something in regards to divination, working in regards to Father God's kingdom. You're a light worker. 
okay? Father God has led you to do something that is very unorthodox. What's that show that um, me and my mom used to watch it all the time? I used to love that show. It teaches you so much about history. Taboo. I don't know if y'all like that show. I really like that show. Like, I used to, I still go on YouTube and watch the old episodes. I don't know why they stopped it. It teaches you about the world, different cultures, you know, different traditions. It's, it's beautiful. It's, a, it's an awesome show. Watch it. Someone here, you're doing something that to other people it could view as taboo, but to you, it's going to be natural. It's going to be second nature. Okay, don't let somebody question or try to stop you. That isn't someone that you're supposed to be with. Whoever you're supposed to be with is going to uplift you, especially push you towards becoming more closer to God. If somebody is trying to stop you from doing something that God told you is for you or that will bring you closer to God or your mission or your calling or your higher self, that is not your person. That is a demon. I don't care if this is family. I don't care if it's a lover. I don't care if it's a friend that is an agent of down below meant to stop you from your purpose, your blessing, your abundance, God's promises in your life. Understand? 1551 on the time as I said this, know who you're evolved with or who's trying to get into your energy or who's trying to stay around because it's time to change and evolve. And I didn't even need to talk that much within this, but I was picking up on a lot of energy coming from these cards. There's so many messages that I'm getting, y'all. That's why I, mean, I get a lot of messages. They talk very quick. That's another reason why I talk fast. I'm from New York, but they talk very quick. Like they 16, 16, on they talk quick. Okay. I'm seeing here, yeah, y'all got signs of synchronicities going on here. Okay, you could be picking up signs of synchronicities from up above, from the divine. Okay, you're getting hints. There's no such thing as a coincidence. You're at the perfect time. It's things happening in the perfect time because coincidence is here. But I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in everything happens in divine time and when it's supposed to. God going to put you at the right place at the right time, especially if you are in alignment with up above. It's just going to work out for you. Okay, God is effortless, easy flow. Okay, if, if it has to, if it comes with friction or conflict or struggle up, that's not sent by up above. That's something that Father God is trying to teach you a lesson with them. Because Father God, it, it, it's, it's going to be easy. It's going to flow. It's going to be natural. It's going to come easy. You're not going to have to change up something within yourself to receive it or to get it. If you have to alter anything about yourself, it's not for you. Because what's for you is for you. Literally, be your authentic self and it will come. That's why I say be your authentic self and you watch how the blessings flow to you. Somebody here, you're getting ready to drive a BMW or a luxury vehicle. You could drive this now. I'm talking about a Beamer, a Benz, a Bentley. Somebody's first name could start with B. Somebody's name could be Bentley. Okay? BG could be significant as well as HM. Somebody can somebody could work at H and M or their initials could be H M or B. I'm seeing here as well. But you're getting messages from the universe. Literally, you're getting messages from the divine realm. Somebody here is very anxious about this, or they have a lot of anxiety because they see you are leveling up. And I'm speaking to somebody who's very tapped in, very spiritual. I could keep going on with these cards. They're saying pull one more, get one more. I could keep going. These you're someone here is very tapped in. Very spiritual base. Yeah, whoever this, listen, whoever this energy is that wanted to keep you in this toxic relationship, they do not listen to divine timing. They don't listen to Father God's timing. They wanted you to stay in their relationship. They felt like it was, they felt like it was the perfect time for you to stay in this. Because you see how it says wrong time and it came out in the reverse. Somebody here felt like it was the perfect time for you to stay in a toxic relationship. Whoever this person is, is very abusive. They're very dark. They're very, they, they are agent of down below. I don't know why I see, I'm not even going to say that. Somebody here listens to rap music, okay? They're extremely codependent as well with codependent being here, and they like to trigger you. Somebody here listens to rap music. Somebody here could even be an, AT, an ATL. I don't know, I'm not about to say who this person looks like to me, but somebody here, this this, this looks like an artist to me. <laughs> Maybe that's a storm, I don't know. Somebody here it could be from Atlanta. Let's see here. You have the three of cups and the the high priestess being here. So you have a reconciliation that's coming towards you with the three of cups. There's some type of reconciliation, and you intuitively know this too, with the three of cups and the high priestess being here. There's a reconciliation that's coming your way. This is also you needing to listen to your intuition in regards to people that could be wanting to reconcile with you or come into union with you. Okay, you could also be meeting new people at this time with the Three of Cups as well. Listen to your intuition in regards to like why these people are wanting to connect with you. Nefertari, listen, stop. With the Three of Cups, 
I'm also seeing here with the Queen of Pentacles, somebody here views you as very wealthy or that you're able to take care of yourself. Somebody here views you as very financially stable, very blessed. Yeah, you have success coming to, towards you, Leo. You're very successful. This could really stress people out with the Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah, people wanted you to take risks, Leo. Like, literally, they thought that you were this... I'm picking up on the cowardly little... Courage, the cowardly dog. I want to say cowardly lion. So somebody here felt like the Wizard of Oz. What did the, what did the lion need? Courage, a heart? I forgot what he needed in the, in the Wizard of Oz. Somebody here could like the Wizard of Oz. Or someone here is realizing that you're gaining courage. They could have felt like you weren't going to be able to tame yourself. Somebody here really wanted to come at you in a, in a sexual way. They wanted you to make quick and irrational decisions with the Knight of Wands, especially in regards to the actions that you were taking. Somebody here, yeah, be mindful of the people that you were hanging out with because somebody here, they don't mind you acting reckless or they want you to act reckless with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. And Atari. somebody here wants you to act reckless with the Knight of Wands. Like they want to go out with you and they want you to, to act up. Knight of Wands, somebody here does not have your best interests at heart, Leo. So be mindful. I cannot make it up, yo. I don't care that the card's on the upright. I, I see these cards. I read energy. Like, I'm, I'm feeling the energy right now. And the energy of whoever these friends are that you feel like is wanting to celebrate with you or have fun with you, they're agents of down below. They're really jealous. They're very hateful. They're very dark. They're very manipulative. They're very catty. They're very drama-filled. This is someone that will try to set you up. Literally, like, this is someone, I don't mean to scare y'all, but you need to be mindful of your drinks, okay? With the three of cups. Be mindful who you invite to your house. Be mindful. Oh my gosh. With the three of Like this could be an Aries or a Taurus. Or someone that is extremely controlling. They're very, very dark. Very vengeful even. Somebody here is very obsessive. They Very abusive. With the devil and the emperor. Because the devil. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Somebody here also acts like they have it all put together with the with the empress. Somebody here wants to act like they are put together or they have everything under control. I'm seeing here. This is people that this is an energy that will literally slow you down. Or somebody here views you as this big boss, as someone that's very put together, or you're very structured, and they want to try to take you off of your A game. Somebody here wants to try to set you up, Leo. Be mindful. I'm not I don't see the justice card. But with the, the high priestess, I'm just, somebody here will set you up to try to, like, go under. Like, somebody here wants you to, like, they could be trying to set up some type of legal matters. Like, they want you to be involved with the legal situation. Be mindful of getting involved with the, these energies or this person or this group of people with the five swords because they play dirty. Somebody here wants you to surrender. They, are, they will try to dismantle you. They'll try to lie on you with the five of swords so that you can walk away feeling defeated, crying, upset. Okay, be mom. Yeah, look at this. This could even be an Aquarius or somebody that sells dreams with the Seven of Cups. You're getting ready to heal, and you have a relationship that's coming in with the Four of Wands. You're also healing. Nefertari, you're also healing in regards to your stability. There's some type of blessing that's coming towards you, and it has to do with your home. Okay, with the Star card and the Four of Wands, it has to do with your home. Neph. You have a blessing that's coming in. The two of pentacles, this is being hidden from you because you were going back and forth about a decision or about what you were needing to give your time and resources to. There was a lot of illusion energy around you, but with the high priestess, this is a you you're able to see past these illusions, but there's definitely someone here that is like either you are confused or conflicted at this time, what your intuition is trying to tell you, or you may not even believe it with the two of pentacles and the seven of cups. Don't fall for illusion energy at this time. Like, be mindful of illusion energy, especially with the devil already being out. Because you do have toxic individuals that are trying to stay in your energy to conflict, like, your values. Conflict where you're headed at this time. Somebody here is working out of a place of lack with the five of pentacles being here. Yeah, it's judgment. Scorpio energy, Cancer is here, Capricorn, as well as Pisces. Tell me about this high priestess. Your intuition is not going to, yeah, about who you need to give to. It's not going to lie to you about who to exchange energy with or about who to give your resources to because you definitely have a lot of delays around you or someone that wants to delay this new start. Whatever this new passionate beginning is, it's meant to bring in financial freedom, blessings, or it's meant to put you at, the new, at a new tax bracket. 
with the high priestess. The high, I'm sorry, the high priestess, the queen of pentacles, and the king of pentacles, whoever I'm talking to, you're meant to be a big boss, okay? You're meant to touch money, touch wealth, touch millions, touch money. You meant to touch it. You meant to you meant to have it with the high priest. With the, I keep saying the high priestess. I'm talking to someone who's a high priestess. Okay. I, you, hi. <laughs> you are a reader. You're extremely empathic. You're extremely intuitive. You have it going on. I'm seeing here. Don't let distractions or anything try to take you off of your vision or your path because Father God is working with you directly. The higher font, Father God is working with you directly. You could also be getting ready to get into a very blessed connection with the higher font and the high priestess. You could be meeting someone that's extremely spiritual like you. They have they hold high ranking and from up above. Like they father, mm -hmm. they hold high ranking in the heavenly realm. With the judgment card, your blessing is coming in, and it has to do with your intuition. It has to do with you listening to your intuition and the guidance that you are getting that you're receiving. Yeah. Get ready for a very blessed and harmonious relationship with the, the chariot and the ten of cups. This is what you're heading towards. So this is what's coming towards you because you were able to overcome some type of conflict, some type of trial, some type of opposition, something that was meant to delay you, something that was meant to stop you or really stagnate you or really put you out of place of not being able to move forward. Yeah, somebody here was really vindictive. They thought that they had you with the, with the king of swords. Somebody here thought that they had you in the bag, Leo. But Father God loves you so much more. Okay, somebody here is like, they didn't realize how much God loves you. Yeah, somebody here wanted, Father God was going to show you that somebody was going to keep betraying you. If you didn't close out this cycle with the world in the reverse, it was going to keep being cycles of being betrayed, backstabbed, manipulated, hurt by someone. Leo, it's time to move forward. Because somebody here, they play dirty. They play dirty. Anything else that Leo needs to know? Okay, yeah, but come on, ice cream came out in the reverse. So don't get, don't close yourself up. Don't be cold. You could be an influencer or don't turn yourself cold. Don't, don't let your heart turn cold because that's what somebody wants. Okay, yeah, somebody here made you feel less than I'm seeing here and now they feel empty without you. This is exactly what they need to feel, okay? Whoever this energy is that could have tried to, like someone here was also very jealous of you or very envious of you, I'm seeing here. Yeah, you have a spiritual reward that's coming in. A spiritual blessing that's coming in. Somebody here fooled you or they thought that they could fool you. Okay. They didn't realize yeah, that that was God testing you. Okay. Father God is testing you at this time to see what your moves was going to be. I'm seeing here. And it seems like you passed. You definitely have passed. Yeah. I'm seeing here. Work on your heart. Continue to work on your heart because somebody here has karma for generations. Like people be feeling like, oh, just because somebody don't get karma. If that person has kids. Or, you know, even if they don't have kids yet, they're marking their lineage. Father God works, I, oh my gosh, it will skip a generation and continue on to that next generation. You're cursing your bloodline. Somebody here is realizing, like, or they're not realizing it, okay? But by you working out of a very authentic energy, somebody here is cursing your bloodline by coming after you. By, by literally, by continuing to try to do things towards you, they're cursing their bloodline. They're not realizing this. Yeah, this is an ex- Someone is receiving karma right now, and that's why they want to come back. Your ex only wants to come back because they're receiving karma. Somebody here is realizing that, or they are, or they will in this life. Yeah, they will in this life. They'll realize that this could also be a Gemini, okay? Anything else that Leo needs to know, please and thank you. Before I move forward, yeah, somebody was on Trickster BS, and they wanted you to believe in them. Okay, this is also someone I wanted you to take more time before making a decision because they want to do some type of love magic on you, sex love magic on you. This is someone that only wants sex and money from you. That's it. And you need to tell this person no because they are not your match. This is not a match. No match. Not with this person that has karma for generations. Heck no. And this is someone that could be going to jail or prison. Or they're getting ready to be locked up for something that they did that they, yeah. Someone here also got caught cheating I'm seeing here as well. This could have been cheating themselves, cheat, trying to cheat God. It don't even have to just be about you. You know, Father God sends you into, to, Father God usually will send his children into places of war to see people's true intentions and motives or to see how they are going to treat, you know, treat you. To see if they're going to change, to see if they're going to evolve. Usually going as a last effort. Father God usually sends his children in as a last effort. I'm going to send you my earth, I'm going to send you an earth angel. I'm going to send you my daughter. I'm going to send you my child. And I'm going I'm to watch to see if you're going to treat them right. Are you going to change your ways? Are you, are you going to evolve? Are you going to heal? Are you going to grow? Because if you don't, that's how you get marked. Karma. Okay? It's like somebody here is a maid 
Or they could have treated you like a maid, I'm seeing here. And that was the wrong thing to do. Yeah, this person really is realizing that they are genuinely in love with you. Or you're about to meet someone that's genuinely in love with you. You have an Egyptian lineage, I'm seeing here. You could be realizing that you are happier without this person. Because this is someone that likes to be on demon time. They like to be on demon time. All right, who is this person? What zodiacs are in Leo energy? Please and thank you. What zodiacs are in Leo's energy? Please and thank you. We got Mercury being here. So this is about communication, messages coming through. Taurus popped out. You have different messages that are getting ready to come through. You could also be getting messages around the moon. This has to do with your psychic gifts. Moon came out in the reverse, so something is not as what it appears to be, which is why it's really important for you to listen to your intuition. Cancer energy is here as well. It could be another fire sign like yourself, an Aries, another Leo, or a Sagittarius that could be significant. You also have water. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Aries is here as well. Anyone else that's in Leo's energy? Scorpio is here. And it's also time to expand. Nefertari, you can't eat that. Oh, man. It's... So many distractions today. Like, I am so sorry, y'all. Okay, Jupiter is here as well. Things are moving forward or things are expanding for you. Also, Libra is here as well. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.